up in a row. <laughs> did it go through? Or did it just go in and bounce out? Dude, it caught it. It did. It would hurt. Oh yeah, you'd be on the ground. But it caught it. So one of the rounds hit the rock that we that we were using to hold it up. Oh. So it spit shrapnel all over it. That would have made you, you know, survive. So you live that one. Looks like the other one might have hit there. Maybe. I have no idea. Yeah, that one hit low. I can try to hit eight more center, man. Yeah, we're gonna shoot it again. Let's go. Yeah, straight through. There. Okay, here's some before and after pics. Um, next time I hope to use more polycarbonate, maybe two sheets, one on the front and one on the back, and a little bit less seatbelt, have it in between both both sheets. Um, also, I think I put way too much pressure on the hydraulic press because the inside of the armor, after I shot it with the shotgun, it wasn't laminated. So I think that pressure on the press pushed it out, seeped out of the sides. So that's bad. I'll I'll put less pressure on next time, and I hope to uh, I hope to shoot it with pistol calibers next time as well. I think it'll stop all the pistol calibers I throw at it. Obviously, I'm not making it to stop rifle rounds. I'm trying to keep it reasonably thick, or reasonably thin, and also somewhat light. And this one came in at one pound fourteen ounces, so not too bad. But I kind of want to make it thinner for the next uh, next version I make as well.